Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for basic Sorgonomics at Sorgatron.com, the video blog where, well, these days I'm basically talking about social media on a social media platform. Let's be honest about it. Uh, but it's really kind of whatever I want to talk about, and that's just where my mind has been, is about how to be better at the things I'm doing, communicating with people. And I blog about such things and have a creative nature. I, I've been doing more social media than... I guess production lately so that's where my head's at um i have a few video things coming up um hopefully in the next month a uh, big editing project actually coming up in the next month so i'm probably going to be talking more about video we'll be back videographers trust me especially maybe after this week and i got a couple interesting things coming up anyways uh today i wanted to talk well, again, social media and some some interesting things going on. I name drop too many times how many ideas I get from the one Gary Vaynerchuk. And I have listen to a few other guys, too. No, that's really what I'm, what I'm getting into right now. I don't have a lot of time, and that's the one name left that I'm like, I got to check that out. But um, a few interesting ideas that have surfaced over the last couple of weeks, and I've been trying to experiment with it a bit more. Um, here's my state with I guess my personal social media, uh, to a point, my personal brand, we can use that in quotes, whatever you want to use. It's a nice buzzword. We'll put in the tags to this video, for instance, to make that pop up and maybe get another YouTube notice. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you got late night after podcast night, uh, me this time. Um, but when I, one thing he was hitting up and this really kind of, uh, you know, pinged with me because uh, I've been trying to be a little more engaging on uh, Instagram and, and some other platforms. And uh, one idea was you go into Instagram and uh, go to, you know, oh, hey, somebody followed me. Great. What do you do now? Right. And, and this is this is something I've done with Twitter for a little bit now, too, is make sure somebody followed you. Great. Just let it go. They'll follow you. That's all right. Maybe we'll start a conversation with you. No, start a conversation with them. Get engaged. It's social. Be social. I'm trying not to use the A word here. Um, but but seriously, uh, you know, if you don't reach out, it's it's not cool to be the wallflower talking to the people you're comfortable with. I talked about earlier on Wrestling Mayhem Show about, hey, this is the guy that I run into at all the networking events, and at least like, ah, other tall guy that knows wrestling. I'm going to go talk to him first, and we'll see what happens from there, and I'm not taking advantage of a networking situation and furthering myself in that, that case. Twitter can be just as wallflowery. You could be a lurker. You could be not engaging with people. But, uh, you know, so every time I go through, I try to go through all my accounts and tweet and, and uh, tweet deck for at least once a day and say, oh, has anybody started following this, this, and this? And try to make sure to tweet them, take a look at them, make sure they're not some weird company or, or body thing. See, so it's like, does this look like a real person? Uh, you're about 80% there. Hey, what's up? You know, maybe they're just bad at Twitter. Who knows? Um, but, you know. Go say, hey, what's up? Thanks for the follow. And if I see something that resonates in their description or or in their tweets lately, you know, um, hey, cool, I, you know, uh, uh, tell me more about this. You know, if it's something that actually legitimately interests me, you know, or at least saying, hey, thanks, you know. And, and um, the Vaynerchuk thing was uh, on Instagram, somebody follows you, you go into the last picture in there and you say, hey, thanks for the follow. And hopefully maybe a little bit more if there's something compelling in there that, that again, resonates with you. Um, this is applied. I talked with a, a, a guy, the guy that put together Clamor. We talked about on the show several times. is an 18-second audio app, right? Think, think Vine for audio, I guess. And I'm like, I don't really know how to have all these people following me. I have, like, over 200 followers on there, maybe three. Uh and, and I'm getting followers all the time. We're putting out content all the time, clips of these shows, clips of, clips of this show. And what do I do now to say, hey, what's up? And he's like, well, we have a messaging thing. I'm like, okay. I, again, that wallflower, flower, wallflower nature, I don't want to bother people. I figure at least, hey, these people follow me. These people subscribe to me. I'm delivering to them. But you need to get outside of your, of course, your, wheelhouse you gotta get outside of your comfort zone and so reaching out and say hey what's up thanks for the follow is a nice starting point right and again don't be like make sure i also don't want this to look like an auto reply too because i hate auto replies i'm not going to do them for for new followers i haven't and maybe i missed opportunities there but i'm not going to do it but you know, at least say enough or saying a difference. So if somebody looks at your feed, sees all the ads, see, oh, he's saying different stuff. Okay, he's a, he's, he's a real person, maybe, if they're going that far, of course. Um, 
And it's been really interesting. For instance, tonight, um, I was checking out the uh, Instagram, and I had done that with somebody over the last couple of days. And, uh, and I got a guy from Dubai in Periscope saying hi, so there's some engagement. What's up? Hope you're digging some social media discussion this, I don't know, it's probably morning or something over there. Um, but uh, somebody hit me up, and it's somebody else doing a wrestling podcast. And it was like, hey, this is so-and-so, and he gave me his little tag for who he is of the show for instance, you know, because, hey, I'm not the guy tweeting from At Mayhem Show all the time, for instance. Yeah, especially not the controversial one. But anyways, uh, and he was like, hey, I listen to every show. I hope you check out ours. Cool. Yeah, now I think about it, he could have been completely lying to try to get me to call, talk to his podcast, uh, check out his podcast and talk about mine and network that way. But in the long run, no, I am going to check it out. And that's awesome. And I do get that feedback. And I do get a message back from people every once in a while. I'm just like, hey, I love the stuff you talk about. Hey, I've actually been listening to this, you know, um, and get that kind of feed feedback. Uh, I've I've often worried and, and I've gotten this in my head. I feel like I don't know that I'm broadcasting to anybody, right? I don't know if it's that feedback loop that needs to happen to get the serotonin going in my brain or what the case is. But if I'm not seeing, I mean, this is an issue. If I'm not seeing the pluses, I'm not seeing the likes, I'm not seeing the comments. I'm like, what am I doing this for? Three people comment on this thing. Knowing full well that the three people that actually, the one person that actually writes an email to your show means that there's 50, okay, maybe a bit number bigger than that, you know, actually listening that are lurking out there. Engagement is low. That's why you get about 15% opens on your email. That's, I think, an okay average, right? Uh, you know, not everybody is going to engage. You You send out um, a thousand mailers, uh, hoping that, you know, 50 of them will respond to it. You know, that's, that, that's the, that's the numbers. And I think a lot of people getting into podcasting, especially don't understand those numbers. Oh, we've done 50 episodes and I got one person that emails me all the time. Yeah, because you have 500 listening and that's the one that's that passionate about what you're doing that does that. I've talked about that before. If, if uh, you know, again, is a, I, want, I try to cite my sources so I'm not ripping them off. Uh, but these are good ideas, and these are the ideas that I integrate into how I do things. But, you know, again, some of you guys are listening to me. Talk to myself. I'll talk to you. Talk to this camera in front of me. At least talk to the Periscopers. At least I got some interactive, and I'm not that weird. It's not just talking to a Roman Reigns cardboard stand-up in the corner. It's really staring at me tonight. Um... But, you know, those people will listen to you. Apparently, they want to listen to me. And uh, and, and that is your audience. And, and I wish, I, I am happy for the engagement I get with this show. And that means there are X amount more. Um, I made a comment earlier today. Uh, this, this is all my thoughts of the day just spilling out at this point. This is what you do. This is what happens when you get late day podcast version of this. Um, I made the comment that I forgot I had a question in my description for my Twitter. And as part of that, when I was trying to get the engagement back and forth going on a little bit more. And uh, it was, uh, what's your favorite cartoon? Hey, new followers, what's your favorite cartoon? And I realized that's been up there for a few months. I don't think anybody that I recall has responded to that. And I was like, well, do, does anybody ever read these? And I, I had a great response about that. And then, and yes, and maybe your question is rhetorical. And I'm like, I don't think so. Um, you know, it's 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 uh, interesting to see where that is. So, um, and then there's conversation. Are we getting the response uh, as much from Twitter as as we used to? I think uh, I think Gary V, you are on a different platform than I am uh, because you have. You know, you're the most engaging person, but you also have exponentially more followers than I do. I feel like I get more value potentially out of personally, internally, out of my 1,800 followers as you get from your however million followers or hundreds of thousands or whatever the case may be. Maybe that's the case. You don't need a million followers to, to be effective. You can do fine with 50. You can do fine with 500. Most people are reacting with you. And it'll grow if you're good at what you're doing, if you're making good stuff. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, if you think we do great, great stuff, I'm not looking for a pat in the back, but uh, let us know your thoughts on any of these topics, social media, otherwise. Uh, any experiments you've been doing with engagement? Are you reaching out more? Are you a wallflower and trying to break yourself of that for whatever reason? 
don't be afraid, man. Don't be afraid. There's a difference between uh, being uh, engaging and reaching out and being a social media asshole. Uh, hey, I uh, speaking of, of, of that word I dropped, uh, social media narcissism. I go over to my LinkedIn. LinkedIn? I think that's where I put it. Um, but if you go to Stage 32 and uh, even just Google search, um, um, uh, how do you identify a social media narcissist? Really interesting video, probably about four or five minutes. And uh, it's kind of a good rich, but do I do that thing? Thankfully, no, I don't do that thing. Uh, I, worried, I worry I talk about myself and what I'm producing a little too much. Um, and I'm trying to curb that. Uh, for instance, but uh, but generally it's it's no no you know who these people are, you're yeah I, you know who these people are. I used to experience these people a lot that when they were musing, hey you should check out my thing. No no, it's like please check out my thing. Here you go. Hey I did this thing. Hey buddy, you know that's at least the tone I'm trying to get across. Uh, let me know what you think. Sorgatron.com. I'll see you guys next time when I'm well rested. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.